When it comes to intimacy, we all want to feel confident. But for a lot of guys out there, erectile dysfunction gets in the way. It's okay, little buddy. In fact, 52% of men suffer from ED. Think about that for a second. That is more than half of all the men out there. Pretty insane if you really think about it. Okay, funny man, I get it, not you, Casanova. If this sounds like something you have dealt with, I really recommend dealing with it with the help of today's sponsor, Roman. Roman can connect you directly with a licensed U.S. healthcare professional for a free telehealth consultation from the privacy of your own home. If appropriate, the provider will find the treatment that is right for you and prescribe effective medication. The whole process is honestly super simple and convenient. <laughs> if you think this is something that can help you, head on over to GetRoman.com slash CrownRick to get a free consultation and find out if this treatment is right for you. Oh, and if you use my link, you get $15 off. Head on over to GetRoman.com slash CrownRick. This could benefit both of us. You get your treatment and I get sponsored. Head on over to GetRoman.com slash CrownRick. Hey, what's up guys? It's Rick. Welcome to the channel. Do you guys remember a couple years ago the junior officer came by and showed us his everyday carry? Well, he's going to be coming back to give us an update on all his new equipment, which is going to be super interesting. And also, today is preview day at the auction, so I'm going to go and check out this Chevy Caprice. I'm going to check out this police paddy wagon. There's a few other police cars we're going to be checking out, so buckle up because here we go. Look at this thing. It's cool security. Look at this Caltrans. This guy's eyes light up when he sees a light bar. Oh, what is this? Is this like a sheriff's vehicle or something? Oh, you got the lights working. Nice. Start her up. Somebody stole the converter! Bro! Don't need it, don't need it. I need it! Taurus. What's the year look like? 2016? I called dibs. You called dibs on this one? <laughs> Let's see if this baby runs. 89,000 miles. Coco Sheriff. Nice, I need this. I need this. Oh, yeah. You need something like this for reals. You really do. You need something like this. <laughs> Check it out, guys. A Caprice. Hey, it's locked. Oh, it's the sheriff's. The transmission is out on this car. And uh, parts for this car is impossible to get. So that is a hard pass for me. Bro, is this what I think it is? Is this a paddy wagon? Oh, it says Sheriff. Oh my goodness. Dead battery. Oh my goodness. Bro, I don't know what it is, but I just have a thing for police fans. Bro, holy smokes. This one's oh, tiny. Shit. This? Oh my goodness. What's going on? Oh, shh. A short hat. Holy smokes. Long hat. Bruh. Hey, asshole. <laughs> Bro, it's nice and clean in here, too. Somebody put their phone number right here. Oh, yeah? Let's call it. I love Rat Dude. I love Rat Dude. Yeah. <laughs> What? Nice. Oh, you can go in there? You can literally open it right here, but if there's a 
I think I like this paddy wagon better than, than mine. You can put loyalists, criminals, tweakers on and separate them. Look, it's by Haven. So what do you guys think? You paddy wagon or what? Wow, this is nice though. This is in super better condition than the other one. I love how this one opens up from just about every direction. I don't know. I, I think most of these idiots here are gonna bid this one up really high. But I guess we'll find out. So the only car we bought is this 2006 Crown Vic. Oh no, look at how bald these tires are. Ah, oh, this is worse than I thought. A lot worse. This is way worse than I thought. It's like junk. We can save her. We have the technology. <clears throat> oh, the computer is missing. See that? Oh, there's another problem. This missing fuses. It's another problem. All right, I'll be back. Let's go. 20 minutes later. Dude, this is not fitting and then this one is really not fitting because this is a bigger and uh, we don't have enough time to get back to the yard they're about to close here in 30 minutes you hear that <laughs> we figured out why it was not fitting so you notice how one of these is white why is this one white what happened is this piece got broken off when we removed it from the old car <laughs> that was it. That was the reason why it didn't fit. All right, this is the moment of truth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got her going. Hell yeah. Woo. Hey, there's a half a tank of gas in it. And I said, that's worth more than the car. <laughs> that's funny because it's true. Okay, <laughs> what I like to do is put this thing to the test. All right, the engine is strong, transmission is smooth. She passes the test. 190? No, that's only 392 hours. Okay, so something crazy happened on the way to the shop. There was this kid in a BMW who broke down in the middle of the road, so I offered him a push to safety. And out of nowhere, his car just burst into flames. I seriously have no idea what happened. There was lava falling out of the car. We had to call the fire yep, department. It's a fire. Oh. Yeah. oh yeah, I just turn around and it gets worse. Oh, there's the flame. There it is. <laughs> and now there's another fire over there. They just told us. See that? Yikes. It's fire season. Damn. Damn. I like how the windshield wipers are on. <laughs> it's a BMW. Once that happens, you can't get it to stop. I think the cat got too hot. I think the cat, the cat, cat got too hot. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're back at the yard. That whole BMW going up in flames was actually pretty sad. That poor kid was literally crying on the side of the road. I didn't want to film him, but I felt so bad for him. I offered him a ride home and some Starbucks, but he refused. I guess he was uh, pretty stressed out. Oh, look, guys. Funny man came back from the hospital. He said he got his booster shots. <laughs> Why aren't I dead? Why aren't you dead? Jeez. Get your needle sticking out of your eyes. This guy's got um, a termite infestation. Poor guy in this car. Hey, you guys remember Mike from that video, a junior officer's everyday carry? Well, guess what? He is back and he's all grown up. Look at this guy. This guy is <laughs> this, way taller than me. She's. Uh, he's here to give us an update on his everyday carry. Alrighty then. So right off the bat, we got our standard issue uh, bulletproof jacket uh, or vest. And then uh Crown Ricardo patch. Oh yeah. Motorola mic. 
mm -hmm. I don't really have it hooked up yet. Like I said in the last video, I was gonna buy one. Mm -hmm. I just haven't yet. Mm -hmm. Um, I got a Motorola mic that's not hooked up yet. I don't have a radio to go mm -hmm. over it, and right here. Mm -hmm. um, um, our security badge right here, and then let's move down to the belt. We got a Safari Land belt. Mm -hmm. uh, we got our magazine pouch with uh, six-hour mags. Uh, no, nice. no, really, yeah. No, no, no bullets in them. Okay. But. Not yet, right? Not yet. <laughs> uh, then we got our peerless handcuffs. Nice. Let's take right a look. Here. Okay. Looking good. Yeah. And then a flashlight right here. Just a uh, nice thing. I think a thousand lumens. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. 900 lumens, I believe. Okay. And a baton. That's for a baton holder. Yeah, the baton holder. We got our, I believe, the same ASP, ASP uh, handcuffs. Put a roll of mic right here, mm -hmm. like I said uh, in the beginning. Yeah. The, the pouch to go with it. Mm -hmm. Got our ASP baton right here, 21 inch. Yeah, I remember you had two of them last time. I got two, yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one was actually, uh, it's still at my house. Oh, okay, broke. you still have it. Yeah, so I use, I salvaged the part for it. And we got yes. our black gloves. All right. With our glove uh, pouch right here. And there's mm -hmm. nothing else on this side. Let's move on over to this side. We got our handcuffs again. Okay. Second pair. Another second pair. Okay. Yeah, just a few, uh, you know, oh shit, you know, situations. Or right, right. Or got our MK4 pepper spray. Sweet. Usually, uh, law enforcement uses, you know, uh, uh, Fox pepper spray, I believe. But uh -huh. I just prefer these better because it just, it, it's cheap, cheaper, you know. All right. So moving over to this side, we got our X26 taser. Nice. Right here, this is the uh, updated uh, stuff that I got. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. Standard issue. And, uh, no. Oh, nice. Uh, dry, dry stun yourself. Dry stun. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God, that would hurt. Over here, we got another uh, handcuff pouch, but I don't really have any more handcuffs. <laughs> the other ones over here don't fit. Yeah. We got our Leatherman. I'm not sure if this is a Leatherman Wave or just a Leatherman, but uh, really sharp, good multi uh -huh. tool, and uh, gets the job done. Got our Contra Costa County uh, hat right here. Uh huh. This is uh, my father's agency right here, so shout out nice. to them. Nice. Uh, so he was a, uh, a, a sheriff for Contra Costa for yep. how long? For I believe. 15 years? I'm not sure. Probably, oh, wow. probably, yeah, 15 years or so. Hey, uh -huh. cop, you're not, this is not your car, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Good old Wilson in the back. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, let me see how we your got biscuit. Our, now we're going to get to the goods. We got our uh, Glock 17 airsoft gun. It's uh, unloaded, obviously. Officially but, licensed? Uh, yes, and uh, I mean, I'm going to get a new one. This is a really old one I have, but uh, it still uh -huh. gets the job done. Sometimes jams, but you know, it still looks. Is uh, it ready to shoot? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't have any more BBs. I shot them off. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That's really it. I mean, they got the. Uh... <laughs> so, how old are you now? I am 16. So, and how long ago did you come? That was like two years ago, huh? Uh, no. Almost three, I believe. Oh, wow. Three, Damn, you, you grew you, <laughs> you grew so big so uh, fast. Thank you for coming out here, man. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man, anytime. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a real bulletproof vest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you got plenty to hide behind. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for showing us your, your everyday carry. Yep. This is a message for the criminals out there. Watch out, because he's coming for you. <laughs> Coming soon in the near future. <laughs>